Simply learn. Your pace, your place. Hello and welcome to Simply Learn's e-learning course on ISTQB Foundation Preparation. This is the fifth session that one needs to go through to complete the ISTQB training. At the end of this training, you will be able to understand the importance of independent testing, advantages and disadvantages of independent testing within an organization, and different roles and responsibilities within a test team. You will also learn about test plans, estimates, monitoring and control, configuration management, and about risks as well. Like in earlier sessions, we have quiz questions at the end of this session, and you are strongly advised to answer these before you move to the following sessions. Let us now look at the agenda for this session. The whole session is divided into six parts. 1. Test organization. 2. Test planning and estimation. 3. Test progress monitoring and control. 4. Configuration management. 5. Risk and testing. 6. Incident management. In the first lesson, Test Organization, we will learn about testing organizations, importance of independent testing, and roles and responsibilities involved in testing. The effectiveness of finding defects by independent testers is much higher as compared to developers doing the testing themselves. Let us look at a few points in order to understand this point. The level of independence will be very low when tests are designed by the same person who also wrote the code for that software. This is because developers who wrote the code will tend to test only for positive scenarios and also limit their tests to that particular requirement or specification only. Also, they would presume things which they might have included while developing the code. If these presumptions are wrong, the same defects as built in the code will also be built in the tests. Hence testing will never be able to find the defects. So though there is a chance of identifying defect even when tested by same resource who created